Thank you, Mayor. Up next, a native New Yorker, but a Texan at heart and soul and spirit. And you've probably seen her on the news a lot with the shutdown. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. And everywhere I went, I said, oh, open the government right now. <laughs> Get that money down here for Emancipation Park and everything else the mayor is asking for. And let us work for all of you. There is a beautiful solace and spirit in this place. I can almost see the ancestors blessing us today. And I thank those visionaries who are here and as the mayor has done, let us surround and embrace Councilmember Adams with love and understanding. I would almost say that what you would see in her presence today so that all of you can get what is really happening is her mother living through her, a sense of duty and commitment. And I thank her for that and bless her in this time. There is no me without you. There is no you without me. And I want to thank all of those who have been so engaged in all of this. Thank the mayor who has taken the hat of E.F. Hutton. Uh, and that is that when her constituents speak, she listens. Give her a hand for that. She said we cajoled and boxed and edged her out and shouted, but she listened. There's something good about listening. And if these trees and this sunlight reflects all that you all have done, because this is part of the extended family. So I rise today to give appreciation to the legacy and history of the 18th Congressional District that I have the privilege of being able to represent. As I walk through these neighborhoods to be preserved and kept, there's a historic Texas Southern University just a few blocks away. The historic Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church with Pastor Emeritus Reverend William A. Lawson, who is present and here, standing and strong, one of the pioneers of the Civil Rights Movement in this soil, in this place. Give him a big hand. Reverend Lawson, thank you for seeding us and giving us guidance. To all of those who are elected, uh, that are present, that are taking up the present day journey. We thank you as well, our controller and council member, former council member Adams that, uh, that is, uh, Edwards that is here. Uh, and a man who has given through eons of listening and planting seed and grass and he's nurturing some siblings right now, trees from the Martin Luther King Tree of Life, Joe Turner listens well. Uh, Senator Ellis, who I had to rescue last night from the bicycling crush, but I'm glad that he's made it back and his leadership is so much appreciated. Um, I loved his chairmanship of the Finance Committee. He gave so much that is still giving. Thank you, Chairman, for all of your leadership that you have given. And to the federal government, for those who think that shutdown is the best way, I think it is bringing housing and community development dollars here to use for those of you who know how to seed and build. And we can be assured that this district will continue to pound to bring federal dollars to match with Zanetta Burney and the outstanding tears at the Ola Petaway and their spirit and their love. I thank you for what you do and give them a hand. I just want to focus a little bit on history as I, in the church, say, go to your seat. Let me have uh, these great men from the Temple 76, please stand up. Brothers who are back here, please all of you stand. Can't call you by name. Please stand. If Masons, please stand. Please stand, brothers.
please stand. We'll get in trouble if we start talking about the outstanding legacy of your history, that you are part of our extended slave history and the freedom that you generated, the dignity that you gave uh, to freed slaves and black men, and that you continue in that dignity. There is no other place that you should be than right here today. We honor you and we thank you. You've got to give them a rousing applause. They walk the legacy of history. To the Kinder Foundation, Timken Foundation, and Houston Endowment, and of course, Texas Parks and Wildlife, and also our city parks. I want to thank uh, Mr. Freedom for being here. I asked as he was selected to do the African American a museum in the Smithsonian. We members of Congress who co-sponsored the legislation and so proud. I uh, just said, now, did you all, where did, the, did, where did you get his name? Did you all just make it up? Uh, the brother's gonna speak, but his name is Freedom. Did you just make it up? <laughs> did you just make it up? Uh, he is doing the African American Museum. Can you imagine the connection, Jackie? The amazing connection to bring him here? in places where we didn't get our freedom until 1865. Can you imagine, Sylvia, the greatness of having him just come and stand and be freedom? Dwight, this is something outstanding. And so um, I thank you for being here and uh, please make them know that you got your start where we said the freedom man has to come and do the African American Museum. Uh, members of the Congressional Black Caucus that led that effort and I thank you. Let me just, uh, as they have three closings in the church, uh, Jackie Bostick, I left her for last, and my closing in the, I think I'm on the second and third closing in the church. We do want to thank Richard Brock and Eliza Dibble and Richard Allen and uh, Representative Reverend Jack Yates. So I want to wind uh, Doris Ellis and Jackie because Jackie's been so kind to allow me to be in the family for a long time with her mother, the granddaughter of Jack Yates allowed me to learn from them and to absorb the history, uh, areas that they never left from fourth ward to third ward. And so Jackie, I want to thank you and the legacy that you carry forward, partnershiping with Doris Ellis. Doris has lost a son, lost her veteran husband, Lonell, whose spirit with her son is all in these trees. They carried on the Juneteenth event for years, and they took to be friends of this park. And so, as was often said about this sense of spirit in the soil, I want you all to know that even as we break ground today, I want you to feel the sense of history. And as was said some years back in a neighborhood that I live in, this is our park and you're not gonna take it from us. This is our park and it's gonna be one that we have. And as the mayor said, we're gonna gift it and then we're gonna gift our parks, McGregor Park with the Martin Luther King statue, we're gonna gift it and it's gonna spread and we're going to be known as a city that truly believes in her diversity and her history. Jack Yates' spirit will never be away from us. And Doris Ellis, you have planted yourself as a tree by the river, and you shall not be moved. I hope that today when you leave this place, you'll be reminded 18th Congressional District, Barbara, Mickey, Craig, and all of you, we shall not be moved. God bless all of you, and God bless the United States of America.